back, and it's time to get honest about Canada's forest industry, part two. Finding number two, Canada doesn't report on how much total forest area has been logged to date or how much forest area remains unlogged. This means we don't even know how much damage has been done. If we were a forest dependent species, we'd be paying much more attention to logging's total impact on the landscapes we call home. Canada also compares the speed at which they log to the entire size of a forest, as opposed to a much smaller parcel of land that is actually viable to log, which means we're clearing trees a lot faster and the real logging rate is much higher than Canada is admitting. Speaking of deception, finding number three, Canada's state of the forest report doesn't cover biodiversity impacts. How can we look at the state of the forest if we don't even consider the animals living there? Sensitive species like caribou and spotted owl have been plummeting in recent years, yet you'd never know it reading Canada's annual forest report. We know that these species are declining because of loss of habitat, including by forestry practices that have been certified by industry as sustainable. Every year, the Canadian government puts out a glossy report putting a green spin on how our forests are doing. Here, we explain why the report matters and how we can fix it. So far, we've talked about Canada counting clear cuts as forests, the definition of forest degradation, and the truth behind logging rates and biodiversity impacts. In the next video, we'll touch on how Canada's report doesn't accurately portray forestry carbon emissions. Stay tuned for more. Get involved at the link in our bio.